concursaba para ser Miss Adolescente de Estados Unidos, y las burlas tras su insólita respuesta la sumieron en una terrible depresión. Recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is? Y es que la chica no supo qué contestar y terminó haciendo el ridículo frente a todos. I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have that. La ex Miss Adolescente Estados Unidos de Carolina del Sur, Caitlin Upton, se convirtió en una sensación en Internet cuando dio una confusa respuesta sobre geografía durante el certamen Miss Teen USA de 2007. This is the round of competition that ultimately determines their fate, the make it or break it moment. The ladies will have to demonstrate their ability to answer a thought-provoking final question. Sound simple? Easier said than done, especially when the whole country is watching. Here's how it works. Our panel of judges have prepared their own questions, so now we will ask each finalist to pick the name of the judge, who will then ask a final question. Ladies, you'll have 30 seconds before you hear the sound of this bell. Good luck. We begin with South Carolina. Hello, South Carolina, please pick out the name of the judge. Thank you. Judge number five, Amy Teagarden. Okay. Recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is? La mujer solo debía contestar una simple pregunta y argumentar el motivo de su respuesta, pero aparentemente los nervios se apoderaron de ella y terminó arruinando su presentación. I personally believe that US Americans are unable to do so because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have maps and uh, I believe that our ed education like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq everywhere like such as and I believe that they should uh, our education over here in the US should help the US or, or should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries so we will be able to build up our future for our children. Thank you very much South Carolina. Lamentablemente, la chica recibió duras críticas y se deprimió después de que su extraña respuesta de geografía la convirtiera en blanco de burlas en internet, e incluso pensó en darse debido al acoso que empezó a recibir. Miss South Carolina, Caitlin Upton, good morning. Good morning. You get so nervous about this, but let me tell you something. You have no idea what this man says on a regular basis on this live program. That's nothing. Can we also? Yeah. That's the first time you've seen that, isn't it? Um, yes, actually, that is the first time I have seen that, and I'm nervous just sitting here uh, right now. Left national television uh, again. I know, and it was the first time actually you had been on national uh, television. Yes, and that here is you the were first competing, time. and it was it was just one of those moments when you were asked this question. I'm sure everything came at you at once. Yes, everything did come at me at once. Um, I was overwhelmed and I made a mistake. Everybody makes a mistake. I'm human. <laughs> at, at what point, Caitlin, during the answer, did you start to think to yourself, is this making any sense? Um, right when that question was asked to me, I was in complete shock. And I was just overwhelmed that I seriously think I only heard about one or two words of the actual question itself. Y es que Caitlin estaba demasiado afectada por la situación, pero su familia y amigos se encargaron de darle el apoyo que necesitaba para salir de su oscuridad. I drew a blank. I misunderstood. I made a mistake. It, you know, as, as we've said, you know, we do live television every day. Caitlin, if, I can't even count the number of times I've said things and then we've all gone to commercial break and we've looked at each other like, what, <laughs> what? did you just say? I mean, so please, you know, don't, don't let it get you down. I mean, and I know the fact that it's on YouTube and a lot of people are watching it right now probably has to be a double-edged sword. On the one hand, you think it's kind of funny. On the other hand, it's not all that funny to you, is it? Um, no, but then again, looking back on it, I am sitting here laughing at myself because I feel like, is, is that really me standing up there <laughs> answering that it's question? It's an out-of-body experience. Yeah, it's, it's like I'm not in my actual body. Um, I give you a lot of credit for being here. You uh, know, you could just go under the covers, but here you are sitting here to laugh at yourself. So you know what I say? Good girl. <laughs> Good girl you. Um, yes, definitely. Mm. You, still, you still finished, what, in the top four? Yes, I actually placed third runner up. Sin embargo, la ex Miss tuvo la oportunidad de reivindicarse en otro programa de televisión, en el cual pudo volver a responder la icónica pregunta que cambió su vida para siempre. 
And so, and, and have you allowed yourself to go back and think, what if I had done a little better on that question, how the outcome might have been different? For example, do you want to redo on that question? I would love to re-answer that question. Okay, so okay. let me ask you that question again. The question is, recent polls have shown that a fifth of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is, Caitlin? Well, personally, my friends and I, we know exactly where the United States is on our map. I don't know anyone else who doesn't, and if the statistics are correct, I believe that there should be more emphasis on geography and our education so people will learn how to read maps better. Yay! I've got to tell you, that there was a perfect okay, like, answer. You know, I think they should just do the thing over on Friday. Come on, let's go back to Friday night. Let's yeah, cover let's another shot. Yeah, let's go back in time and redo everything. Oh, Honey girl, you're just 18 years old. Yes, I am 18, and I've y es que la chica no dejó que este insólito momento arruinase su futuro profesional y buscó nuevos horizontes. What are, you, what are your plans? What do you want to do? I mean, you know, in terms of after that pageant, what are your goals? Well, my goal is to attend Appalachian State University, major in graphic design, once graduate from there, go to L.A. and go into the International Academy of Design and Technology, ma major in special effects, learning to design special effects for movies and television. Mm. Good for you. You go. Well, you've got a lot of grit. Thank Caitlin, you. Caitlin, good luck to you and Thank everything. Thank you so much.